Welcome to our The China Briefing program, where we dive into the latest happenings with a touch of flair and a sprinkle of insight. First up, we're looking into Henan Province's significant drop in smartphone exports, a whopping 60% decline in Q1 2023, signaling Apple's strategic shift in its manufacturing supply chain away from mainland China. It's a tale of tech, trade, and the quest for diversification that's reshaping the global smartphone market. Next, we're dialing into the US where the Federal Communications Commission has put the brakes on Chinese telecom giants, citing national security concerns. This move bars major players like China Telecom and China Unicom from offering broadband services stateside. It's a digital standoff that underscores the growing tensions and tech rivalry between the US and China. Switching gears, let's talk football or should we say, goals galore in the Premier League. This season has been nothing short of spectacular, breaking records with an average of 3.26 goals per game. It's a thrilling development for fans and a puzzling challenge for defenders and goalkeepers alike. Stay tuned for more on these stories, and please continue to watch for detailed content. In the ever-evolving landscape of global manufacturing and telecommunications, recent developments have underscored significant shifts, particularly involving China's role in these sectors. From the heart of Henan province to the decisions made in the corridors of the U.S. Federal Communications Commission, FCC, these changes highlight the dynamic interplay between economic strategies and national security concerns. The South China Morning Post recently reported a stark downturn in smartphone exports from China's Henan province, a critical hub for iPhone manufacturing. In the first quarter of 2023, the region experienced a 60% plummet in smartphone exports compared to the same period in the previous year. This significant decline is attributed to Apple's strategic move to diversify its manufacturing supply chain beyond mainland China, a decision that resonates with broader trends in global trade and economics. Foxconn, Apple's main iPhone assembler based in Henan, is now expanding its operations into other markets such as Vietnam and India, the latter being the second-largest smartphone market since the third quarter of 2017. Foxconn's commitment to invest at least $1 billion more in an Indian plant underscores the shifting sands of manufacturing, driven by the quest for diversification and resilience in the supply chain. Meanwhile, on the telecommunications front, Nikkei Asia has shed light on the FCC's recent decision to bar several Chinese telecom carriers from offering broadband services in the United States. The affected companies, including China Telecom, China Unicom, China Mobile, Pacific Networks, and its subsidiary Comnet, have been ordered to cease their fixed or mobile broadband internet operations in the US within 60 days. Citing national security concerns, this move is part of a broader effort by the US to restrict Chinese telecom carriers' operations within its borders, following previous bans on giants such as Huawei Technologies and ZTE. This development is a vivid illustration of the growing tensions and precautions in the realm of telecommunications, where the lines between technology and security increasingly intersect. Amid these shifts in manufacturing and telecommunications, the South China Morning Post has also highlighted the pivotal role of state-owned enterprise, SOE, reform in China. As the Chinese economy shows signs of recovery, with manufacturing activity expanding and economic output surpassing expectations, the spotlight turns to the reform of SOS. Accounting for over one-third of China's economic output, the transformation of SOS into entities that are more market-oriented and shareholder-friendly is seen as crucial. Such reforms are expected to address vulnerabilities and stabilize the stock market, further bolstering China's economic resilience. With the MSCI China Index outperforming major developed market indices and fund managers growing increasingly optimistic about China's economy, the reform of SOS emerges as a key element in the broader narrative of China's economic revitalization. These developments across manufacturing, telecommunications, and SOE reform paint a complex picture of the challenges and opportunities facing China and the global economy. From the decline in smartphone exports in Henan province to the FCC's crackdown on Chinese telecom carriers, and the ongoing efforts to reform SOS, these stories reflect the intricate interplay of economic strategies, national security, and the quest for sustainable growth. As the world grapples with these multifaceted dynamics, the outcomes of these shifts will undoubtedly have far-reaching implications for global trade, technology, and economic stability. In the exhilarating world of the Premier League, 
the 2023-24 season has been nothing short of a goal fest, shattering records and thrilling fans with an abundance of net-bulging moments. According to Yahoo US, the Premier League has already smashed the goal-scoring record for a 20-team season, with 44 matches still on the calendar. The campaign has witnessed an unprecedented average of 3.26 goals per game, as per statistics from Opta. This surge in goals is attributed to the increased length of matches due to longer stoppage times and a record success rate from the penalty spot. With the season not yet over, the tally could reach a staggering 1,239 goals, eclipsing the previous absolute record of 1,222 set in the 1992-93 season. This trend has not only kept fans on the edge of their seats but also redefined expectations for high-scoring fixtures in the league. On the geopolitical stage, the Washington Post reports on Secretary of State Antony Blinken's significant trip to China, marking a crucial moment in the complex dance of diplomacy between the two superpowers. Blinken's visit, culminating in meetings with top Chinese leaders, focused on a range of contentious issues, including China's support for Russia's defense industry and its role in the global fentanyl trade. Despite these challenges, relations between the US and China have seen improvement, enabling more routine conversations to manage their rivalry. During his over six-hour discussion with China's top diplomat, Wang Yi, Blinken delved into military matters, Taiwan, and access to advanced semiconductors. The importance of direct engagement and cooperation was underscored, with an anticipated meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping, signaling a potential thaw in the frosty relations and a step towards managing their global rivalry with diplomacy. Meanwhile, in the realm of economic regulation, the South China Morning Post highlights China's move to strengthen its legal framework against financial fraud. The Chinese government is reviewing amendments to its statistics and accounting laws, aiming to impose heftier penalties on firms and entities found falsifying statistics and financial reports. The proposed revisions suggest fines up to 10 times the illegal income generated from such deceptive practices. This legislative push signifies China's commitment to ensuring the integrity of its economic data and financial reporting, a critical component for maintaining investor confidence and the smooth functioning of its market economy. By increasing the cost of fraud, China aims to deter malpractices and foster a more transparent and reliable economic environment. These stories, spanning the globe from the football fields of England to the corridors of power in China and the United States, reflect the dynamic and interconnected nature of our world today. From record-breaking sports achievements to pivotal diplomatic engagements and stringent economic reforms, each narrative underscores the ongoing efforts to navigate challenges, foster cooperation, and ensure integrity across various spheres of global activity. In a fascinating twist of political and media savvy, Stephen Chung has been announced as Donald Trump's campaign spokesman for the upcoming 2024 election. As reported by the South China Morning Post, Chung's career has been as dynamic as it has been diverse, having interned under the muscular wing of Arnold Schwarzenegger, communicated for the high-octane world of the UFC, and now, rejoining the political fray with Trump. His career trajectory paints the picture of a man who is not only comfortable in the limelight but also adept at handling the rapid-fire nature of political communications. Chung's return to Trump's side, after a stint in the private sector post-2018, signifies a rallying of experienced forces as Trump prepares for another contentious run at the presidency. Chung's previous roles, including his work with the office of former California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger and the 2008 John McCain Sarah Palin presidential campaign, have undoubtedly equipped him with a unique skill set. His ability to navigate the complex waters of political discourse, combined with his experience in managing crisis communications, positions him as a formidable asset to Trump's campaign. It's not every day that one sees a figure who has transitioned from the world of sumo wrestlers and UFC fighters to the high-stakes arena of presidential politics. Yet, Chung has managed to do just that, defending Trump against criticism and showcasing his loyalty by accompanying the former president to UFC fights. On another front, as highlighted by the New York Times, the Supreme Court's conservative majority appears poised to potentially alter the trajectory of the criminal case against Donald Trump. The case, which accuses Trump of attempting to subvert the 2020 election, has reached a critical juncture. Trump's claim to absolute immunity from prosecution is under scrutiny, 
and a ruling in his favor could significantly delay any trial until after the November election. This development underscores the complex legal battles Trump faces, even as he gears up for another presidential campaign. The involvement of former tabloid publisher David Pecker, testifying about his role in suppressing scandalous stories pre-2016 election, adds another layer of intrigue to the ongoing saga surrounding Trump's legal and political challenges. The intertwining of Chung's communications expertise with the legal hurdles facing Trump paints a vivid picture of the upcoming electoral battle. Chung, with his background of dealing with high-pressure situations and crisis management, is stepping into a campaign that is as much about navigating legal controversies as it is about winning over the American electorate. His role as Trump's spokesman will undoubtedly require him to draw upon all his experiences, from the world of sports entertainment to the cutthroat realm of political communications. As the 2024 presidential election campaign trail heats up, figures like Stephen Chung and the unfolding legal dramas encapsulate the multifaceted challenges and strategies at play. The combination of seasoned campaigners and complex legal proceedings highlights the unpredictable and often tumultuous nature of American politics. With Chung's appointment and the Supreme Court's deliberations, the stage is set for a campaign season that will be closely watched, not just for its political outcomes, but for the narratives and personalities that define it. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email.